Yo, 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 what's happening? Yeah, everybody. We're back with more Sam and Max. Also, I am Ali Cassie Cat, and welcome to my Let's Play station. Now this is going to be fun. I think we're getting Hi, close Sybil. to the end. How are things in the world of computer-generated romance? Oh, I'm not doing that anymore. You believe that guy? Never mentioning that he was married? Men are such self-centered jerks. Preach it, girlfriend! So you changed <laughs> careers again? Yeah, now I'm running a dating service. Um, come again? A carbon dating service. I bought this astoundingly useful machine that tells me how old things are. I usually just cut them in half and count the rings. There's a reason you're not invited to birthday parties anymore. <laughs> I wanted a fresh start in a new career to get my mind off that fiasco with Honest Abe. This wasn't my first choice, but I got a good deal on the carving dating equipment online, and I couldn't afford to change my sign. How does carbon dating work? I don't know. Something about carbon-14 and half-lives and radiation. I'm impressed with your detailed scientific knowledge. <laughs> Very professional. <laughs> That's that. the beauty of it. I don't really need to know anything. I just aim my little machine at something and it tells me how old it is. Allow me to demonstrate. This tiki is... Oh my gosh! It's, it's 2,000 years old! This is fantastic! Old is good? Absolutely! I can have my office put on the National Register of Historic Places. I might even get a grant. I'd be rich! Okay, let's, See you around, let's go back to the White House. Where are we going, Sam? We're off to the White House. Oh boy! Hopefully this will be the end of the series. So I can start with a new game. We go back to the office. Okay, let's go. I wonder if you can open this door now. Hmm, white paint, Christmas lights, and a small barbecue. Everything somebody would need to renovate, decorate, and then accidentally burn the place to the ground. Later, Max. Later. Where are we going, Sam? Back to the office. Shotgun! <laughs> of course, Max. You can have shotgun. Max, where are you going? No, don't leave me, Max. Come over here. Hmm, Sybil left the door unlocked. She's probably living it up on some tropical island on the taxpayer's dime. I bet she's getting abducted in some sleazy nightclub, then sold into a white slavery ring, forced to do unspeakable things for a power-mad despot, before narrowly escaping his volcano top lair with only one of her kidneys left. Don't be such a pessimist, Max. Sorry, Sam. 
It's just no fair. We're stuck here working, and she gets to have all the fun. It's Sybil's carbon dating machine. Now, there's a lot of stuff to do before we get to the... So sorry I'm uploading only one video a day guys, it's just been hectic trying to get everything in order. But as soon as my um, income tax comes in, I'll be rolling go. What's shaking, Bosco? Greetings, comrades, dog and rabbit. I'm having trouble placing the accent this month. Mid-Atlantic states? The San Fernando Valley? Hmm, I get more of a vague Baltic vibe. Something in a light check pattern. Ha <laughs> ha! Comrade Maximilian makes the funny joke. I am Vladimir Ilyevich Baskovorsky, Russian proprietor of Workers' Glorious Warehouse of Inconvenience. That's funny, you don't look no. Russian. But now I make new start in America, which I love. So it's no need to aim in sophisticated targeting equipment at me! See you later, Bosco. He's no Bosco, comrade. He's only loyal worker, Boskovorsky, who is no threat to glorious American government whatsoever. Well, Bosco, by my readings, these weenies date from the early Cretaceous period. Uh, da! Special bargain for you! Still tasty, half of today only. You don't understand. Your <laughs> store is now a national historic place. These weenies are valuable artifacts. Really? I mean, uh, of course! In preserving heritage of my people. Just how valuable are we talking about here? We'll get back to you on that. <laughs> Max, is that really necessary? Why do you always have to do that? Where are we going, Sam? Back to the White House. Off to the White House. Oh boy! Optimus, keeper of the seven keys. It's our old pal, the former child star and embarrassing idol semifinalist, Peepers. That <laughs> former child star and embarrassing idol semifinalist, Governor Peepers. So long, peeps. National budget. Hey, look, Max. It's the presidential discretionary budget. You have $100 million to allocate however you want. What a delightfully random and convenient figure. It's the official United States calendar. Well, but the hottest Supreme Court justices in their skinniest, naughtiest reasons. Even better, Max. You can actually change the official date. Oh, boy! We now declare today April 26th, Secretary Day. That's supposed to be an administrative professional today. Wow, Sam. When I picked you for vice president, <laughs> I didn't know you were such a politically correct leading art liberal. Oh, man. Secretary's Day. <laughs> All right, let's get going. I did that. That way that we wouldn't have to come back and do it.
Right, I'm going to have to. I'm going to try to keep this under going, 19 minutes. So. Very good. Sorry about that, folks. My recording stopped. I don't have enough money to pay for, or I don't have any money actually to pay for a full version of Bandicam, so you're just gonna have to deal with the cutting. <laughs> Hello, Comrade Bosco. Hail to the chief! I don't know how you guys did it. But I just got a huge check from the government! You earned it, Bosco. It's not easy to perfectly preserve weenies that predate the discovery of fire. Not to mention the teeming microcosm growing in the bathroom. We're considering making it a national wildlife <laughs> preserve. <laughs> now I can finally finish my satellite defense! So, we can have the truth serum? Sure. Let me dig it up from the lab. This is a bottle of vodka. What people first? Just trust me! Get a couple of shots of that in somebody, and they'll tell you all their secrets. Thanks, Bosco! Okay, now we go back to the office. First, I want to check something real quick. Nothing like a gaggle of security cameras pointed at a guy to make him feel at home. I'm comfortable with it because I'm uncommonly photogenic. And I can't get it yet. Fuck. Sam? We're off to the White House. Oh boy! more kick than the other ones. Thanks, Captain <laughs> Match. You guys, you guys are my best friends. Now can we get back to the deliberation? What's the point? You still think Beeper's idea is stupid. Stupid? You never told me you thought my idea was stupid. He said your idea of adding Herbert Hoover hugging the four other presidents <laughs> Thing he'd ever heard. Well, it is. Hoover wasn't even a president, which means he certainly wasn't the most loving of all the presidents. Well, at least I didn't suggest putting a parking garage in George Washington's forehead, like some four-eyed freaks I know. You little, you big. Of course you realize this means war. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, the light's blinking. What's this I hear? What wondrous thing is this? Stupid ass musical numbers. Fucking alien, man. A flashing light above the door. There's just one thing it could mean. War. Oh, what's it good for? What is it good it's for? good for you. Good for you. It's good for me. Shows the world that we've 
got stones and carriers with fighter drones. Oh, what is it good for? What is it good for? It's good for you. What the fuck? Why do all the security guys look alike? Like, they're just... Okay, that was Let's weird. Do that, again. that was interesting, I guess. Excellency El Jefe Maximilian I, Intimidator of the Realm, has a special surprise for you. Get <laughs> those handkerchiefs ready. This could get sentimental. Agent Superball, we have decided to reward you for your excellent service to your country, for your unwavering commitment to preventing us from being where we most desperately needed to be, for your unerring devotion to being a constant hindrance in our task. For all these things and more, we now dub thee Superball. Secretary in charge of guarding the war room door. Max, no. Oh, right. Uh, Secretary of Defense, whatever. <laughs> so we have spoken, so it shall be. All hail, Max. I'm overwhelmed, sir. I don't know what to say. Now run along to a cabinet meeting. I'm afraid I can't do that, sir. You've got to be kidding me. I still have my orders. Alright, we will go into the war room on the next part. But like and favorite of this if you enjoyed. Subscribe to join my band of cool cats and I will see you all tomorrow. This has been Allie Cassie Cat signing off. Goodbye everybody.